Hey everybody, Paul Brooks here, and welcome to this little, weird little off-season thing that we're doing. I got Jason Hulls with me, Jay. Hello. And I got Chris Hudson with me, Chris. How's it going? Good. Um, So, it's the off-season, and we like to do different stuff, things that we normally don't do during the season. So, one, we're recording video, which is cool, and... B, we are going to do a little photo slideshow of some stuff from a movie that we made together years and years ago called Late Afternoon of the Living Dead. Chris, what is Late Afternoon of the Living Dead? It is a sequel to the groundbreaking student film that I made in community college. (laughs) That's what Late Afternoon of the Living Dead is. So true. And Jay, I think uh, you had... (laughs) A little something to do with it as well, did you not? Yeah, I did. Um, I wrote and directed Late Afternoon of the Living Dead. Very cool, very cool. So I thought it might well, be... Paul, you had something to do with it. I did. I was an actor in it. Um, I played the character of Bob. And uh, believe it or not, guys, check this out. I got Bob's original hat right here. What? Yeah. Wow. After all these years... Mm-hmm. You know, so, I still have... It still looks good. I still have... So while we're talking about Bob, I played the role of Chris, and I, st- <laughs> I still have the t-shirt that I wore through the entire movie. I still have Jay's sunglasses. I have the backpack that was featured not just in Late Afternoon, but also the original Afternoon of the Living Dead. Wow. Yeah. I want those sunglasses back. Never going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I also... I have the machete. Nice. In my the garage. I have the case... What's that? The cardboard machete? No, that, that one um, crumpled under the weight of chocolate syrup. Uh, I think. But I have the real one. I think it's pretty rusty by now. And I also have the original case still smeared with chocolate syrup that held the cure that was in our movie. And I don't know. I'd have to look, but I think there might still be some Listerine in little jars. Nice. <laughs> hey, do you, do you ever scrape a little of that chocolate syrup off the case onto ice cream? Once a year. When nice. I watch late afternoon. Of the <laughs> nice. <laughs> but so what we're doing today, everybody, is I found recently, I found some 35 millimeter prints, photos of behind the scenes stills of the movie from when we shot it back in 2004 in Decatur, Illinois. And so I just thought it would be fun. I don't think the guys have seen these photos in years, possibly ever. I don't know. But we've... Uh, scanned them and collected all of them together. And right now, for the very first time, we are going to check out these photos from the film. So, guys, are you ready? This is going to be awesome. Yes. All right. Let's click to the first photo. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Wow. There's a whole lot of people here. Um, (laughs) I love Al. There's Al Al Holman. He's the one with the red bloody head. (laughs) (laughs) oh yeah this was cool like we were in a building in downtown decatur um that the cinematographer andrew moore uh secured for us and the cool thing was the lowest level was uh, like a storefront or a store and we were able to use the whole store for our staging area and we were shooting upstairs in the upper levels that were like abandoned nasty apartments and the basement. So that was like that main level was like our base. It's, it was like a dance studio or something, right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I think yeah. it was at one it was point. Just a big open area that we yeah. could set stuff up in. And it was cooler, I think, than the rest of the building. So people could go down there and chill out. Or, you know, obviously here we have zombies making up zombies. You know, when you have these low budget movies, um, everybody you gotta put does zombies a lot. to work. Yeah. I mean, they were, they were making one another up. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you That's have cool. uh, next to Al right there in the green shirt is Gary, who is sort of our main oh, yeah. makeup guru. Yeah. He sort of taught us the technique <laughs> of using liquid latex and toilet paper and a little bit of Party City, you know, face paint to make up your zombies. Yep. Gary, yeah, I mean, that that was huge, really. I mean, yeah. that was a cheap, effective way to do the zombies that looked pretty good in black he and white. You did a great job. All right. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Gary. Next photo. <laughs> <laughs> Got some wow. different angles here. Um, wow. 
Thanks for pulling that one out, Paul. <laughs> I hope, Why, what's I hope the my problem? wife never listens to this. <laughs> well, as you see there, and the uh, looking so angrily at the at the camera was my ex-wife. I wouldn't call yeah. that anger. Yeah. I would call that um, pensive. Really getting into character, I think. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. I'm gonna gonna no. Val and I get all, still get along really well. We share two children, and I have to we have to see each other every week. And uh, now, Chris, wasn't wasn't one of these shoots where like you told everybody she was pregnant with your first? Oh yeah, one? yeah. When my daughter uh, found out she was pregnant, just like a couple weeks before, and uh, I think we we were so worried about this scene where she was in because it was a bit of a fight scene, sort of. Oh and yeah, being yeah being new parents, we don't. Uh, <laughs> If she falls, is that going to damage the hurt the right. baby? And uh, no, no, she was okay. My so really, it was this long. day the picture. This yeah. the day this picture was taken is when some of us found out that she was pregnant with your daughter. That's right. Wow, that's right. It's kind of cool. But you know, everything else. I mean, all that aside, it's a pretty interestingly composed photograph. Only because Rob Quentin is in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alex Bob Bartley back there too. Yeah, oh, yeah produ- right. he's the producer of the movie back there, sticking his head in. Yep. All right, shall we move on? Oh, well, speaking of Rob <laughs> Quinton, there's his brother Will. And who who else is in in this shot? <laughs> it's a it's a fresh young me. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you getting yelled Looking at? Very fresh there. <sighs> I, I mean, there's just so happened. many reasons. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I thought that was something that happened daily on this set. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Chris, I need to uh, just let you know that I don't think you're in any of these photos. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because I took them, right? Did you? <laughs> no. I oh, did not. see, I don't know <laughs> yeah, exactly do we know who, who took, took these. Them. Uh, you know, maybe I did. I don't know. I, I, uh, there's a chance I may have. I don't know. It's very possible. On the cause... photo, on the photo, um, you know, the the little slip that it comes in, it says Murren on it. Hmm. Probably mm. Gail. Gail probably so, did it then. Gail Murren is yeah. probably who who took these. Gail, if you're watching, uh, leave a comment down below. Let us know if you took these photos. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Let if, us know if, how you're doing, if, Gail. You know, if Gail did take these, uh, I was probably hard at work preparing, learning my lines and getting into character because mm. I took this, the whole production, very, very seriously. Sure, yeah. Yeah, very seriously. <laughs> Next. <laughs> oh yes, I think I have seen this one before, but never this like nice and clear and big. Well, this yeah. is a shot that is um, actually in the like blooper reel on the DVD, so you yeah. might be thinking of that. That that could be. Yeah, yeah Alex, uh, the our friend on the left here. He, I think he had a lot of time between when he was when he showed up and when he was needed. So, you know, typically the zombies had a pretty, you know, decent size. We did a lot of face wounds, you know, and, and that sort of thing. And he just decided, he just showed up and he decided to get crazy with it and put one all down his neck and shoulder. And Rob decided oh, yeah, to yeah. put it on his eye, yeah. which um, it w- w- looked great um, and yeah. no one else had in the movie yet. So it was cool. You have a much, much better memory of that day than I do. Yeah, I mean, usually all of the the stress has distilled down into just being pleasant memories at this point. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that's usually how these know, things go. This was one of the first days, though, I think. And yeah. I mean, you don't want to start your production with a cast of seven fighting a group of thirty zombies. That's just not a easy way to. <laughs> it was logic. I mean, we worked it out in it the way it had to be, but. It was not advisable. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we did. It happened. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's and next. Those lessons you learn by making a movie. Ah. Ah, sweet. It's a good shot. Great mm-hmm. shot. Mitch. Got, yeah, Mitch Al. Brinker on the left. Yep. And you can Al really... looks scary. You can really tell in color. Again, the movie was, the movie was released in black and white, so... Obviously, that looks like chocolate syrup, but in black and white, it just looked like darker blood, and it did work very well. And using chocolate syrup allowed us to make a lot of poop jokes. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. yes. Tasty poop jokes. It's good for the comedy. 
Another shot of Al there. Um, I think that is that Molly behind Al. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Then there's Andy Studman. Mm-hmm. Everybody looks he got good. To, uh, yeah, he got to fight my brother in the movie. Oh yeah, well, he bit your brother. Yeah, bit bit Travis. That's right. Damn shame. <laughs> All right, next. <sighs> Not coming back for the sequel. Nope. <laughs> All right, more. Oh yeah, <laughs> Mitch and Handy. There's well, Travis like, kind of peeking yeah, Travis behind, uh, behind Valerie. Uh, behind Val, my ex-wife again. And the uh, uh, just a hint of the of the camera that we used. And you think that's uh, Andy hold, holding the camera? Uh, yes, I think. I, it, yeah, yeah. No? I think was anyone else me. allowed to hold the camera? Yeah. <sighs> it was me, Gail, and Andy for the most part. Mm, and I think sometimes. it was Gail's camera. And yeah, you, Paul, yeah. And also you, you can see the... Uh, really high-tech lighting setup that we have back there. <laughs> it, what's great, yeah. this is the upstairs of that building, so you can see yeah. how kind of crappy and suitably post-apocalyptic it was. Yeah, we yeah we, we had free reign over this apartment building that was falling apart, and I mean, like, <clears throat> they basically said, do whatever you want, and we definitely did. Yeah, I mean, down to knocking down walls. They let us. They let us cut up walls and knock into things. It was cool. So, Jay, here's a question for you: Is that ability to do anything with the location that we had? Is that the main reason why our cast of heroes chose a burned out building instead of taking <laughs> someone's mansion? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I, what I figured it to be is, as you know, in the film, several different times they need to go get supplies. Right. So right, yeah, that building yeah. is right downtown Decatur, literally downtown <laughs> yeah, Decatur. Yeah. So it's just a great staging point to go out and get supplies. So that's well, I see, why it happened. I see the first mistake is getting trapped in a zombie apocalypse in downtown Decatur. You don't want to do that. <laughs> we should have Because the only more. thing that smells worse than zombies is Decatur. <laughs> It's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Sorry, it's a chemical plant or whatever right outside of town. The town has... It smells an, has like a, rotten eggs. It, it's pungent. It's a, very, it's a very sulfuric sulfur <laughs> kind of scent to the entire... Decatur was good to us. I'll say that. <laughs> Next photo. Hey, it does make a great location for a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, it worked. Abandoned. It worked really well. Next photo. Oh, I think I did take this picture. Yeah? I'm okay. pretty sure. Cause, yeah, because there was that Jimmy John's across the street, and mm -hmm. I remember take, leaning out the window <laughs> and taking pictures of people. But <laughs> Okay, this guy on the left, I don't remember his name because he was a friend of, I don't know if he was a friend of a friend or a friend of the cast member. Um, I don't remember his name, and I'm sorry. But he was there for several hours as a zombie waiting uh, to get you know his shots done. And then he told me at one point, He's like, I'm so sorry, I have to go. I have to leave. I'm like, okay, well, we haven't filmed your death yet, so let's do it. And I'm sure there's blooper reel of this, too, where we just like, okay, we had him lay down, and we had somebody kill him, and we just took our hose full of chocolate syrup and just <laughs> blew <laughs> yeah. chocolate syrup all over that guy <laughs> just to get his death scene out. Because his, his, I think, was one of the first death scenes in that fight because he had to take off. So we're like, all right, let's just get this going. <laughs> and so we just blew syrup all over him. Yeah, that's actually in the uh, blooper reel as well, I believe. <laughs> it, is that Nadine sitting on the... Uh, yeah. Okay. You know, yep. fun fact, she came up on Facebook as someone I might know. Hey. Hmm. You I might. Send her a friend request. You might. You might. And then you got Alex, and uh, I don't know if we've mentioned Seth Carter down here yet. Yeah. He yep, was uh, one of our tried and true guys who, you know, anytime you need Seth Carter for something, chances are he's going to be there. He did makeup. He was like eight zombies in the movie. I think he um, stood in for me several times. Delivered did he? my lines. Oh, no. did I? I was going to say, like, if we needed a stand-in, I would, wouldn't have been, it would, wouldn't have been surprising. He was all over the place. Good stuff. And there is something funny to me about Al smoking as a zombie. <laughs> I don't know. It just cracks yeah, me yeah. up. <laughs> Alex is in character. It's good. Yeah. He, he, he really brought out the method acting uh, methodology for this role. No doubt. All right, next. Okay, back down to the main level. Little peek at Emery and Ashley. Principal cast members. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this other guy's name is Eli. That sounds right. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think you're right. Eli, um, what's up? Again, not sure how he showed up there. I'm not <laughs> sure who he knew, but uh, thanks, Eli. Yeah. Um, so would we have to bleep out Ashley's name if we revealed that she co-wrote the Lava Lantula franchise for the Sci-Fi Channel? She did, True indeed. story. Yeah. I don't think we need to bleep that. Oh. I don't even think it, it's necessarily co-wrote. I mean, she's the screenwriter. Right, right? yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Um, Lava yeah, Lantula. And Lava Lantula and two Lava, two Lantula. Wow. And I believe one called Toxic Sharks, right? Uh, I think it was called think Earth Catastrophe. And that one. <laughs> it's not a handful of the... Yeah, she moved to L.A. after doing this movie, got a job, uh, and worked her way into development, and wrote some screenplays. And I know that we've probably said this about Ashley on, like, whatever, the DVD commentary or whatever, but, like, she showed up... Which you've all heard. Which you've all obviously heard. But Ashley obviously. showed up kind of last minute. I think she was kind of a last minute addition, if I'm not mistaken, to to the cast. And she, you know, I was kind of like, is this girl going to, does she know what she's getting into, you know? But she, <laughs> like, not only did she love, you know, working on the movie and, and being on the set, she would show up on her days where she wasn't on call, you know, where, where she wasn't yeah. required to be there just to help out with stuff. So this, uh, this movie may have, you know, kind of started a calling for her. I like to think so. Yeah, <laughs> and I mean, and let's since the other guy standing in the the frame here, um, I think the same compliment goes to him. He also would show up on days where he wasn't needed just to take pictures and mm -hmm. and do whatever. Yep. So yep. we had a you very know. tight crew that, and everyone enjoyed working together, and and it made me feel really good. Isn't it amazing that how well the spirit of this movie kind of translated from the original student film that I had, where <laughs> everyone got along so well, there's just a spirit of get it done in two days because my assignment is due on Thursday. It's remarkable. Did it, it really take two on. days? It's amazing. Yeah. I so. I, yeah, it took two days of filming and then a day to, to edit. Well, this and I believe like you edited the eight-minute short film on, a, on two VCRs, correct? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, great. Th this thing took three years, so... <laughs> <laughs> the next one probably will take five yeah yeah all right next photo bigger and better things right they always take longer mm -hmm. uh dave jetter dave jetter in the house <laughs> how's it going dave also another zombie oh, as yeah. you can see who was very into uh you know getting as as much wound work <laughs> done as possible Mm-hmm. yep he's in one of my I think it's probably one of my favorite scenes of the movie. Oh, yeah. What's that? When we're it's it's the patient zero scene. Mm -hmm. um, oh it's a, yeah, it's yeah, a flashback. yeah. That's right. That was pretty yeah. good. Yeah. So Dave is yeah. essentially patient zero. Well, hold on. I think you're going to see a lot more of it, Jay. Oh, all right. <laughs> look at uh, look at Will there. All the children. For COVID. <laughs> <laughs> there I am with uh, the original hat. Oh yeah. Yes. Uh, Travis's fucking shirt. I love that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that looks like the original. I th that's but, the original. Yeah, I think that's the original That's one. the original, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. he lost that shirt <laughs> somewhere in the years of filming. And I, my mother and I recreated that shirt. I think we, t we had a photo and we blew up that stupid face and font <laughs> and made a second shirt for him to continue the movie. <laughs> yeah. If you look really closely in some scenes, you can tell that the, that the yeah. font is a little bit different. Well, and it's the same for Ashley. Ashley lost her shirt too. Oh, and yeah. we had to mock up a, a pink shirt, the thing she had on. So there's a scene or two where she's wearing something different, but no one's well, ever said it. No one's ever noticed. You know, I never realized how professional I really am because I actually even still have my shirt. <laughs> wow. I can go upstairs and put it on right now. <laughs> so okay, dealing with these unprofessional actors and you, me, good thing you had me starring in this role. Never well, lost my okay. shirt. That's true. I also have my outfit, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's, weird it's a little tighter today. than it used to be. You but... and I. Oh, it's a lot tighter than it used to be. <laughs> uh, All right. Next nice. photo. Gail. Gail. Gail Murray. What happened to Gail? Oh, he was on the show too. <laughs> he was. <laughs> same Dave. one with Dave. Yeah. 
Dale is in Austin, Texas right now. Yes. And there what would is. you what, what, what how would you how would you describe Gail's role on the film? That was that's his camera that we're shooting on, which is why he's he's behind it. And you know, he was yeah. behind it for mm-hmm. part of the time, but he wasn't the DP. What was his official title? Well, he did sound a lot of times. Oh yeah. Um he and he producer. I mean, he helped get the whole thing done. Right. I mean, he was carting people around and helping in just about any way that was needed. He was another one that did that. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, this this brings me to one of my favorite jokes from the the whole set is uh would would you say that's a tripod that camera's on or is that a quad pod? <laughs> was that a what? Cle- was, I, clearly what? no one remembers that one. <laughs> oh. <No>. Nobody <laughs> Did it happen? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's just my mind. <laughs> But you got a, you got a monopod, you got a bipod, a tripod. Why no why no quad pods? It sounds like an Andy Andy Moore joke. <laughs> and uh, Gail did play a role in the movie. Uh, he was in one scene, but it got cut. Unfortunately, I can't remember if he was a zombie at all. He was the army guy. Yeah, uh, I know, but I don't think uh, I don't think that it's in the finished oh. film. No, no, it's not. Yeah, sorry, Gail. So much of it hits the cutting room floor. So much. All right. Like almost all of my scenes. Next photo. Ah, <laughs> there we go. There he is. Andrew Moore. How you doing? Our, There's uh, our DP. Our director of photography. Behind him is Frank Bartley, mm-hmm. who played yep. uh, Lest, uh, Professor Lester, Lester Brody, who had The Cure. I don't know if that's supposed to be the cure in Andy's hand or just some Windex. I think he was cleaning the... In this scene, um, they're looking through a window at patient zero, and I think Andy's probably just cleaning the window. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you got uh, Alex Bartley down here, Nadine again Looks on like one of her days off as not being a zombie. You know, yep. again, people like to show up and just kind of hang out and do what they could to help sometimes. You know, it actually looks like Andy's cleaning Alex's face. <laughs> <laughs> also possible. <laughs> okay, next. Oh yeah, here. Oh yeah, there we go. That's great. Yeah, this is one of my favorite scenes. We're just for it, I just remember lighting this and, and really being excited about how it ended up looking and coming across. Um, but yeah, it's uh, our professor Lester Brody discussing his findings with his uh, associate. Both of whom, I mean, I think we don't really ever say what happened to Andy's character in the film. We're, we assume he's gone, though. Yeah, um, yeah and then uh, Dave hops off that table in the background and sneaks up to him. It's pretty cool. So there's, there's no chance he'll uh, show up in the sequel, like with the cure? He's there's the absolutely a chance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, On the record, night, right now. He escaped to a tropical island somewhere and is living the life fine with that we could do a short film about what happened to him andy (laughs) i know you're watching leave a comment down below to let us know if you're in yep but you're in right (laughs) all right let's keep going here uh more from this yeah it's a pretty good makeup looks pretty good i guess will would be patient one then because he's the first one who dies when dave kills him I appreciate that uh, Will, in his uh, capacity as a medical examiner, just took uh, the shirt off and not the pants. <laughs> well, you know he was getting to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, well, maybe that's why he's putting the glove on. <laughs> oh, God. Will, leave a comment down below. <laughs> Let us know why you took the shirt off so fast before the pants. Was your character... Where, where were you at in this scene? Was your character mentally ready to take Dave Jetter's pants off. <laughs> okay, next photo. Here he is. There we go. You can see how clean that window is. Yeah, that's why he had to Windex it. Spotless. Spotless. Yeah. Was this was this shot uh was this also shot early on or was this later? I think this was later. It had to have been later because <laughs> We started, again, not advisable, folks, but we had a 20-page script that what was supposed to... This film was supposed to be a 20-page script, and then we just decided we worked so hard on it and everyone was having a good time. We rewrote it into a feature film after we already started shooting. Whoops. Don't oh, do really? <laughs> oh, I had no idea. 
<laughs> yeah, don't don't do that. Um, so, so yeah, so this whole flashback bit was never in the original version. It, the original version was just more of a straightforward survival story. So yeah, this would had to have been later because right. this is part of the flashback. Yeah, and if you ever if you're ever watching the movie and you're watching the flashback stuff. If you see uh, Frank Bartley's character of Lester Brody, watch his lips very carefully. The, he's, he, he talks a lot throughout the entire flashback, but the only thing he ever says, Jay, do you remember? Um, is it, You don't understand. You have to listen to me. Yeah. No, no, you don't understand. No, no. You have to listen to me every time. That's what, he, that's what he's saying in every single shot. Yeah. <laughs> and even Dave says it like when, in Dave's response, there's a shot when uh, uh, oh, like a yeah. back and forth when when Lester Brody is talking to Dave here and they're but they both just say the same thing back and forth <laughs> to each other. But there's no sound. So you can't really tell. Right. Right. <laughs> Good stuff. I'll use that. I'll use that again someday. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right. Next one. Oh, nice. <clears throat> Two shots. Ron. Two shots. Yeah, this is uh, similar to the one we saw in the hallway earlier. We haven't seen Ron yet. Is, we haven't seen Ron. Ron is our uh, the the human face of evil mm-hmm. in this movie. Um, an evil stockbroker who <laughs> is out for himself and himself only. Not enough evil stockbrokers in movies. It's true. Yeah, it's true. And uh, Ron played his part very well, maybe a little too well, a little bit suspicious sometimes. <laughs> yeah, when we were talking about writing the movie, doing the movie, um, you know, I was good friends with Ron and I knew he would want to be involved. And he, like he immediately wanted to play a character like that. Like he wanted to be like a bad guy type of thing. So so did you write it, it his fit. character sort of based on the com- conversations that you had with him? Yeah, yeah. Um, I knew that there would be a role like that, and Ron was, like, all over it. So, yeah, we talked about it. Huh, I didn't know that. Very cool, very cool. All right, next. Sam. Samantha. Also haven't First seen her yet. Sam here. <laughs> uh, Jenna from the film. <laughs> Jenna, and Travis, as you can tell, is pointing at her uh, extremely temporary tattoo. <laughs> so, Paul, I do believe that you guys found those tattoos and then ran out of them? Um, ran out of copies of them? I, I think we just had to go back and get more. I don't think we ever... I don't think that we ever had to, like... It, that it got to the point where we had to, like, stencil them on. I think we just I, ran I out I uh, and had to go I back. I remember to you having to use... I remember you used Sharpie on her. Yeah, yeah. I, yes. had to redraw that at least a few times. Okay, yeah. well, that is, if if you want to know why that is, it's because if she was sweating, the bottom portion of her tattoo would sweat off. Oh. And I was tasked with redrawing it in every time that it got, because it was, you know, the middle of August or whatever when we were shooting this right here. Yeah. So and, and a lot of times. It's that attention to detail. What? It's that attention to de- it's that attention to detail that really makes repeat viewings of this movie <laughs> totally worthwhile. Do what you got to do, you uh, know. <laughs> you know, and we haven't said yet that the entire movie is available for free on YouTube. If you're watching True. this, you're looking at it on our channel. It's on our channel, right? Like it's It's not on our channel. It's on your 10 Wing Films channel. Oh. That's right. Well, it'll we'll put it in the playlist. We'll put a link down below. Yeah, we can uh, we can yeah. add it to a playlist here. If you're watching this video and you haven't seen the film and you, and you want to watch it, we will post a link right down below so you can check it out. And next photo. <laughs> All right. Oh, Mitch yeah. and Andy. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Everybody's kind of got their own zombie thing, their own take on being a zombie. Which right. Which is cool. And Andy, Andy uh, I don't know what what's going on with Andy's bicep there. He's just got some like fresh rotting flesh going on right there. Well, he did that himself. I don't think. Uh, yeah, because it's not makeup. <laughs> <laughs> no, Andy. Andy uh, is an actor as well, and and has you know um, experience with uh, theater productions and uh, makeup and things like that himself. So when he got uh, into onto the set and you know got the lit, liquid latex put on him 
I think he knew how to work with it a little bit more to create those sort of like blister effects that are on his arm. That's cool. All right, next one. <laughs> Emery is not a zombie. Not yet. I feel yet. like these two really go together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just kind of had to throw that one in there because I didn't, you know, have have enough zombie portraits. So I'm like, oh, that's a cool shot of Emery. We'll throw it in. <laughs> Seth nice. Carter doing his thing over there as well as a zombie. He's just waiting for somebody to go by so he can bite him. I mean, why <laughs> why go out when the food will come to you? Yeah, exactly. Why exert yourself unnecessarily? <laughs> Next one. Here we have Molly and Eli. And uh, the one thing that I want to note about this photo right here, I wanted to make sure that all of our zombies really felt like they could get into character in case that, you know, again, this is 2004. Maybe some people weren't quite as experienced with zombie stuff as they are now. Um, and so you see this little TV that is set up on a chair. It's one of those old uh, TV VCR combos. And I took it upon myself to bring some tapes for the zombies to watch if they wanted to look at some other zombie movements and stuff like that. So that's uh, Return of the Living Dead Part 2 on the TV right there. Nice. Awesome. It's a little little zombie training. Yeah. Oh, and actually, you can see some tapes in the background, too. I probably went to family video and picked up some stuff. <laughs> well, and see, that's something that's that's another thing. I mean, that's something that you weren't asked to do by anybody. I mean, you just thought, hey, this would be a good idea. This might help people. And so I feel like there was so many of us that were kind of on the just on the same page and everyone having fun trying to make everything better, you yep. know, from like the, the makeup experience to the downtime of waiting. And, you know, it's, it's just little things like that, that I think go a long way to making everybody happy. <laughs> and that's what you want, you know? And I don't know. I mean, we're all obviously in very different places in life right now. Um, you know, we all gave so much time to this movie um, from planning to shooting and post-production and all that. And that, I think that's part of why it like sticks around in my head so much as like a significant chapter of my life. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And it's kind of still the high bar for me in terms of, you know, having, having that much fun with a production just because it doesn't happen all the time. You know, a lot of, a lot of times, these days you work on something and you, you know, you have two and a half days to shoot it and you got to go knock it out. You know what I mean? Yeah. There, there's not that level of involvement as, as we had on this. Yep. I've done a lot more projects since then, but you're right. I honestly, I don't know if any of them have been as fun. Yeah. All right. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Next photo. I don't remember this guy's name. I don't either. Sorry, dude. He was... Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> he was another yeah. one of the guys who showed up. Um, there were five or six of them that showed up for that first zombie fight that I was n not connected to particularly. And then there's um, uh, and then Nadine. Nadine. Yep. She, Nadine, uh, Chris, I believe you choked <clears throat> her to death and snapped her neck. <laughs> yeah, I, be I believe you're right. I think so. And yeah. now Facebook wants me to reconnect. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to the next photo. Boop. Okay, the other two guys <laughs> that were in that crew. <laughs> um, yeah, they were, I mean, a couple of zombie extras. They were there for like four or five hours and were in a hot room in like August and agreed to be covered in chocolate syrup. So my thank thanks you. to them. Thank you for your service. I, I really like the number of zombies just in t-shirts. Great. <laughs> well, when you die, it's going to be what, <laughs> what you're wearing in the zombie apocalypse, right? Yeah. Well, nobody was at work. Everyone was... It must have happened on a weekend where everyone's in their <laughs> comfy clothes. Yeah. It's true. We don't define what day it is. That's true. Yeah. Just only that it's a late afternoon. One thing to point out, you won't, you won't see it here, but if you watch, again, if you watch the movie and you watch uh, all the way through to the end credits, we wanted to really show our appreci appreciation for everybody, so we named specifically gave a, a individual name to every zombie who was in the film. So we might not remember these guys' actual names, but they have a zombie name in, in the movie as well. 
In death, actors have a zombie name. Yes. I'm trying to do a Fight Club thing. Never mind. Oh. All right. <laughs> next one. <laughs> Alan Al Alex. and Alex. <laughs> Looking good. What is what Alex I wearing? <laughs> Chris, what was he doing? <laughs> <laughs> How do you wear that and get that wound? Well, clearly, clearly, he was being examined by Will Quentin, who hadn't quite gotten to his shorts yet. <laughs> Just got the shirt off. <laughs> oh, good stuff. We appreciate people going the extra mile with uh, all these wounds and, you know, not wearing any clothes and all that. All right, next one. Uh. Oh, that was it. Oh, the end. There you are, Chris. Oh, where is it? See? Oh, there it? I am. There I hey. am right there. Nice. <laughs> you made it in the promo shot, Chris. Yep. <laughs> it's the best place to be. People remember the promo shots. Absolutely. <laughs> that shirt. That shirt is in my closet right now. That's amazing. That yeah. That is pretty great. Well, there you have it. Uh, guys, thank you for taking this uh, little stroll down memory lane with me. That was fun. Yeah. Thanks for Thanks for putting us, this Paul. together. That's really cool. Jay, anything that you want to say about, you know, as you can see on Chris's shirt here, it says, or is it anything that you would like to say right now? Any announcement that you would like to make? <laughs> um, <laughs> Paul, are you trying to pressure me into saying there's going to be a sequel? I'm just saying we've certainly <laughs> talked about it. We have talked about it. Yeah. Um, we talked about doing a movie called tomorrow afternoon of the living dead and we have some really insane ideas that i mean we all watch a lot of zombie movies and i think it's safe to say we do have some ideas that has have never been seen in other zombie movies before mm -hmm. so would i be down for this yeah probably i would <laughs> i probably <laughs> would be I'm getting to the point where I, I I think it would be maybe a fun project to talk about. Chris, I'll go dust off the I'll go dust off the shirt. <laughs> and, and it's funny, it's funny. I mean, it almost looks like you put a graphic over the shirt, but no, I wore that was actually printed on the shirt. <laughs> or is it? I knew that you would use this someday. <laughs> Very nice. Years later. No, I. So what do you totally think, Chris? Down. I, you know what? There's nothing better than playing the role of Chris, and I. <laughs> The role you were I, literally the born role to play. I was clearly born to play. <laughs> I would totally be down. I love the ideas we've thrown around, and we laugh and think, treat them as jokes sometimes. But I think it'd make a pretty badass movie. Yeah, I agree. Well, with, never with say never. Budget. So, folks, uh, you know, we'll keep you updated. May maybe you know, after uh, we get through our little pandemic situation here, you never know what might happen. But. Uh, Thank you for watching this little special that we got. And hey, stay tuned for more cool stuff in the off season. I know uh, we got an episode of Dark Hollywood coming up, Christmas yeah. special coming yeah. up, all sorts of fun stuff. So stay tuned for that. And all we'll right. see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow Ooh. afternoon. <laughs> Can we just end this with that? <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, Chris. Blooper. Chris, for the stinger here, we need a stinger. Give us a line from the movie, Chris. <laughs> drive on. What was it? We'll drive on straight through morning, through noon, then into the late afternoon. No, no you completely. No, Jesus Christ. It's late afternoon. You butchered it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs>